Well, thanks everybody for joining me. I'm starting in Corel Draw, coming up with some scroll saw patterns. I took some silhouette of some tools that I use in the woodworking, created a little framed out, and I'm going to make a few of these plaques, about eight or nine of them, and we'll take them down to the shop. We'll start building these things, and why don't you join me in making these for, for the wall. All right, after I printed out the patterns, I stacked them up and I'll cut these down. Uh, I'm going to make these three inches by three inches. So I'll cut these to that size. And then we'll cut some plywood down to the three by three inches. So I've got all of the nine and a few extras here. And now I just need to attach the... So I'm laying down all of the different patterns and then I'm going to hit it with a little nose, with a little spray adhesive. And we'll lay out all of the, uh, the designs. Now I just brought them over to the sander to kind of round over the edges instead of trying to cut them all. It makes things a little bit easier just getting them nice and tight there. As you see in here, I'm using pretty straightforward techniques, just using a standard blade. I'm not using a spiral because I'm trying to get a, an accurate straight and curved line and I'm just not that versed on it. Uh, and just making the cuts, listening to some tunes, taking my time with it, having fun with it, and we'll eventually get them all done, which I think in total will take me several hours, but here we go. Make an attachment, you can see kind of an idea of what it looks like here. And now it's just peeling off the outside sticker of the pattern. Hey guys, as I'm working here, I just wanted to show you a little bit behind the scenes. Um, one of the things I like to do is, is I like to have my either my iPad uh, run in Pandora so I can get my music on. And then... What I do is I get one of these, if you haven't seen one before, it is a Bluetooth speaker, it's portable. Um, and what's nice is you can kind of tuck this down under the tool or near where you're working. So I like to bring this along with me no matter what I'm doing. If I want to uh, play a song here. And what's nice about these, you can be rocking out. out wherever you are man and there they all are laid out and ready to be painted I was taking my time making them all look pretty nice and let me get out the old spray paint I think I'm gonna do these dark and then leave this a natural color wood and maybe this one red like the logo but anyways that's the next step they're all laid out ready to go well, because I'm going to be mounting these with CA glue, I can use the Danish oil to do the backing. Because I think with Danish oil and oak plywood, it actually comes out pretty decent. So let me go ahead and uh, uh, get the uh, backs all stained and ready to go. So we'll start off here with just spray painting them with some black lacquer. I put a couple coats on there to get them nice and dark. And uh, after I was done painting all of these black, I went to the uh, little uh, play sign that's sort of like the logo for for YouTube and painted that red, a little pop of color. I don't want it all black and white or black and wood color. Now next up, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, glue these on with a little CA glue. That's the C and I calculate and spray a little accelerator on there and mount them there one by one I just did them all until they were all done and boom 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 they're all they are done all right I'll lay them out and I'll go ahead and put some uh, clear lacquer on there so what I got going on here is I got the backer board and then I'm just piecing together a simple uh, sort of like a box frame for it with a couple of moiter joints. And I'll assemble these two together and then I can mount the 
individual signs onto this uh, onto this frame and backer board. You know what they say about woodworking? You can never have enough clamps. So what I'm going to use here is I've been using some Danish oil with a cherry finish. I think that'll make a nice base color. I was going to paint it white, but I think that ultimately this may have a better look to it. Because I'm going to have these stand proud of the frame. So I just need to attach these on the back here. I'll just use a little CA glue to do that. I think I'm going to just start with the corner and mount these like this and I think I'm just going to use the CA glue. Alright, after a couple eyelets in there, I'm going to just string some wire so it'll hang. And there she is, all mounted on the wall, my scroll saw sign for uh, for YouTubers and woodworkers alike, kind of an artistic thing. And I think it came out pretty well, and I appreciate you watching me build it, and I hope it inspires you to come up with your own design. Oh, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great one.